can never ever find the right words And there's no way this is real life There's no telling you <laughs> Those pops are insane took off the bumper let's just go ahead damn that actually looks so crazy let's go ahead and uh we need to we need to do a couple things to install this new blow-off valve so i know it's kind of messy so i'm going to bring it over here real quick so this is a blow-off valve that goes directly onto the turbo and it makes like i i can't do the sound i'm not gonna mimic the sound again but uh oh uh, anywho it comes with the gasket and everything here's the blow-off valve it plugs in direct bolt on so uh pretty excited for this let's just go ahead and unplug the original ones in order to get to the original uh i don't know what this is called like i know it's a blow-off valve but this is again from keys so if you guys like the sound hopefully end of this video if i can get it on then uh yeah links down below but uh without further ado the first thing we got to do according to keys motorsports video is just uh loosen up these two bolts right here take them out this is the water pump so we got to drop that a little to actually get up there uh, i'll have a flashlight and uh stuff like that to actually show you guys but um yeah without further ado let's just go ahead and uh, release this water pump Alright guys, so once you get those two out right there, I went ahead and dropped it. There's one up here, so you're gonna have to use a swivel to get to the top of it, so you can feel it from right up here. Put a swivel, get it out, and I forgot to do first, go ahead and unplug it first. So there's a sen there's actual there's an actual cable right there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but you gotta unplug the water pump first. So uh yeah, unplug the water pump. Now it's moving. Let's go ahead and get to the next step. The next step is actually unplugging the diverter valves. I don't know if you guys can see right in there. Um okay, right there, you guys see that screw? Like, yeah, really can't point right there, like that silver screw. Oh my God, it's really hard to point using. Anywho, uh, that's a diverter valve. That oily cable right there connected to it, right there, um, that is what you need to unplug. So I'm going to unplug that, and then we're gonna go ahead and figure out we're gonna take out those three screws for the diverter valve. So that's you call it a diverter valve, not a blow valve or anything like diverter valve. Guys, I was looking through here, and it's kind of difficult to look through here. If you literally come up, you actually see all three screws, which is pretty good. Let me go ahead and try to see if I can zoom in for y'all. Um, but yeah, that's the diverter valve. That's the first screw, second screw, and the third one is up there. It's up there. You can definitely see it in person. So actually, this angle is really good. So I do need a special tool to get that out. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead, head down to AutoZone and pick that up. After searching AutoZone, O'Reilly's, uh, Napa, Harbor Freight was the only place that had uh, ball joints that are five millimeters. So went ahead and went to Harbor Freight. I think it was like 15 bucks, nothing too crazy. And this will make our life a whole lot easier. So I'm so happy we picked it up. I mean, it took us like an hour to get these, but I'm sure it would have saved me hours in trying to pull this thing out. So let's go ahead and take, use a five millimeter and get this, uh, get these three screws out. All right guys, so I pretty much only got two out of the three bolts. They're right over here. And these are the two easier ones. The last one's up there, so it's gonna be super hard to get to. If we're looking at this blow-off valve, this is the angle I'm seeing it. And uh, basically the last one's all the way up here and I can't even see it. So, oof, that's gonna be kind of hard. But um, let's try it, let's try it. So if it wasn't for Jonathan, I don't think I could have done this. You actually need two people. Yeah. And uh, sad as it is to say, I don't feel like Jack Sands is gonna be an easy job. Um, this can be done on Jack Sands. I've seen a video, but that guy had perseverance of like no other. So um, this isn't the hardest job I've ever done. Obviously there's things a lot harder, but it, if I had to rate this from a zero to 10 job, 10 being pulling a motor out, this is a five. So it's not like the easiest thing in the world. Anywho, that being said, if this was a, oh, hold on, actually the 428s are dummy easy. So if you guys have an, uh, an N20 motor, this is dummy easy. Easy. If you have a 435, which is the N55 motor, right? Yeah. I'm saying, right? Like, I, I got another engine in my car. Yeah. Um, basically, yeah, it's a little harder. Anywho, so we're going to go ahead. This is the new blow valve that we are installing. Uh, what is this? Turbo Smart. So, uh, it's blow off cool. valve or diverter valve? It's a diverter valve, but it makes sounds like a blow valve. So, mm -hmm. yeah. We're going to wipe my hands so I put it all over the new gasket. So, you're going to go ahead and put the gasket on there. Go, there we go. I, I kind of hope this uh, actually makes noise because you've been on this job for like four hours. I'm not going to lie. I've been on this job for a little bit. Now, it should make it crazy. Crazy good sound. Uh, what I'm hoping is this gassy stays on here and it doesn't like. Oh my god, dude! I mean, it looks pretty good, it's staying. Yeah, kind of. It was sitting like this. Was it? 
It was like towards us like that. Yeah, yeah, okay. So and then kind of do it the same, I think. Are you ready to put in the hardest screw? Uh, if we can put in the <laughs> hardest screw, like the rest of the mission's gonna be so exciting. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like Because <laughs> that's what, honestly, I always go with the easiest <laughs> ones and then I'm stuck all night with the last one. Let's just try to do this one. If we can actually tighten this screw up, I'm gonna be the happiest man alive. Let's get it. Actually day two, I know, super surprising. So uh, leaving the shop, I couldn't finish the job because I had to get home, take an exam, and uh, now it's the next day. We are in the 650i, and we're actually heading over to the DMV, again, the Papa DMV, and uh, she called me saying we, were, we have the rest of the documents, so I'm hoping, you know, that's good news. So we're gonna head down there, pay our, fee, pay our fees, and uh, let's see what happens. I have a check engine light right now on the 650, so that kind of sucks, but Hopefully, uh, we'll get that fixed soon. At least the top is down. Gotta enjoy the weather. Guys, so we just got out of registration. Your boy's got new plates, new registration, new everything, so your man's hype. The 650i is officially registered under your boy's name. Pink Slip is coming in pretty soon, so uh, that's some good news. A little you know, sneak peek in the, the four series episodes. I'll also announce this in the six series episode, just in case some of you guys aren't watching uh, the four series episodes. But anywho, very excited about this. That means we can go ahead and start going forward with the build. I was really afraid that if I couldn't get the car registered, why spend a lot of money on the wrap, custom parts, a lot of modifications, and then, you know, the car is unregisterable. Because that would suck. So, anywho, now that it's registerable, I'm not even, I'm not even sure if that's a word, then uh, we're good to go. So, without further ado, we'll go ahead, go home, work on some orders. If you guys have not purchased a decal to support the channel, or if you guys have not picked up a hashtag SaveBMW jet tag, make sure to cop it down below. And yeah, I'm gonna get those orders out, uh, stay home for a little bit, then head out to the shop, and then hopefully, hopefully tonight finish off installing the diverter blow off valve i'm pretty sure that's what it's called so that's gonna sound insane i'm super hyped to hear it i'm sure you guys are too so uh i'll catch you guys then all right guys just got plates on the car and also dropping off some mail guys so i'm officially back at the garage so it is actually 9 30 the next day i know it's kind of late but that's only because jonathan has work and this is a two-man job i couldn't do this alone so i had to wait for jonathan i did actually end up getting something today which i'm not gonna be announcing i'm gonna be giving it a few more days mainly because it's insane like i never thought this day would ever come but it happened and hopefully I'll show you guys in a few more days but obviously uh, we got to make sure this car is back on the road so I figured also while the transmission is up in the air again uh, remember when we filled this up in the last video I just want to make sure that the fluids are fully topped off so we're gonna go ahead and open up the fill screw again pump in more fluid till it starts leaking again at least we know a hundred percent it is filled because we drove it and everything back on the list now hundred percent whatever we put in there is gonna be maxing it out so let's go ahead and do that and then we'll wait for Jonathan as soon as he gets here we'll go ahead and start working on that blow off valve that's gonna sound insane and then obviously Obviously, I'm gonna upload the video tomorrow, so I'll just take it out for a drive, show you guys my initial opinions and everything, and I'll uh, show you guys that tomorrow morning right before the video goes live. So it might go up around like one or two, but I hope you guys understand. Done off the side, but it was draining out, so I put the cap as soon as I could. We're good to go. So, so the fluids are all in there, so we're good to go on the fluids. So I just wanted to triple check because the car is up. I normally always drive the car, so it's a perfect time to check it. It's topped off. We are good, super good. So now we're just gonna go ahead and wait for my boy Johnny, and then we're gonna go ahead and attempt to install this blow-off valve. This is a uh, probably one of the hardest things I've ever installed, and I don't like saying that when I try to do DIYs and stuff, but but hopefully we get it done. Knock it out of the park. We're good to go. All right, guys. So Johnny McJohn's over here. Shout out to Jonathan. It's literally 9:30. He comes right after an eight-hour shift. I did. Yeah. So shout out to Jonathan. I'm gonna do this for you, my dude. So link down below, guys. Go show him some love. Honestly, honestly. For those of you guys who are new, he also does BMW content. That's his 135. 135. Right over there. It's it's actually working now. It's working. So <laughs> is that video went up yet? Um. Anywho, uh, sneak peek. It's it's good. So uh, make sure you guys check out his channel down below. He's really helping me out. Shout out to him. This is I can't do this on my own. So. What's up guys? So uh, it's literally like two hours later. <laughs> two hours later, we're still trying to get this last one in. I think I have some, what is it called? When you have like some progress. Boy, so like, I watched Keys Motorsports' videos. When he said the rating from this uh, this DIY was uh, from one to 10, 38 being the hardest. I mean, no, he said one to 10. And the difficulty is from, okay, rating this from one to 10 difficulty. I can't even talk. <laughs> it's so crazy, dude. We're delusional right now. We're losing our minds. Like straight up, it's it's bad. It's bad. Dude, look, at, I look like a mess. Oh, my. I look like a mess too, bro. <laughs> Why do you think I got the screw in there? You do, guys. I think your man has gone somewhere. <laughs> oh, oh my god. This is a job that if a shop tells you one hundred and twenty dollars, I would be happy. 
the pit. To honestly. give him that $120, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's one of those jobs. Give him that hourly wait. He doesn't know what he's getting himself into. I'm being honest. Like, he'll be like, oh, it's just gonna be an hour. Yeah, give him the 120 bucks, leave, get in and out, you know? <laughs> Come back an hour later and be like, did you do it? You said it in 120 bucks. <laughs> Make it somebody else's problem. Make it somebody else's <laughs> Like, dude, we got the lifts and everything and it's still like... I watched way. a video and some guy, literally there's only two videos, Keys Motorsports and another guy, he said you have to go at it at a, the top angle. We weren't doing that, we were going from the no. bottom angle. That's impossible for this top bolt. Oh, by the way, we, we had to take off the uh, intercooler as well. Oh, I think that's good. I think it's good, that's okay. Good. So, it's been another at least 20 minutes, 25 minutes. Um, the best part, the best part is when we pull our tools out and we see the, the screw on the head. <laughs> Dude, don't say that. <laughs> it's gone! Oh my god, okay, good. I thought you were like delusional and thought like it was still on there. I was like, no way. I'm gonna go ahead and just feel it. Yeah, it's in there. Good? All the way. <gasps> Alright, let's put it back together. Okay. Alright, well now all we gotta do is just plug in back the diverter valve, the oh new one. Oh my god. New and upgraded, guys. We got the water pump bolts, we got the intercooler, and then we got the intake. other intake. And just on the bumper. And the bumper. So every, we know how to do everything else pretty easy. It just yeah. takes time. Uh, we just gotta make sure you don't forget about plugging into that inverter valve. Imagine we like get it all in, you know, we have it bolted in and then we forget to actually plug it in. Plug it in. Oh my god, dude. All right, let's plug it in right now. Yeah, plug it in right now. <laughs> we don't want that to happen. All right, I'm gonna need your help, Johnny. All right. guys so ball valve is hooked back up uh, water pump is bolted and hooked back up so don't forget to hook up your water pump because uh, you don't want to mess up your engine right when you install a ball valve so I mean you plugged you know. it in too right okay no so everything's plugged in yeah. this is the water pump that's the plug back here well, you know where the well, you yeah. spent like three hours or four hours yeah. probably, you know exactly <laughs> you know where exactly it where it is, is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah all that's hooked up so now we're going to install the I do recommend taking that off though to, to do the uh, yeah, to do the job, so like much. taking off the intercooler. Do that right off the bat. But right? honestly, just it's really easy to take off. Like if honestly, if you can remove the fan, I honest to God, it could help out so much yeah. because you can go at a higher angle from back here. Like this thing is this thick. Yeah. No, it, it takes that up much more clearance. It. We just didn't want to have to deal with it because it is I kind really of a pain. Don't know how to? Like I don't think it's that hard, but we couldn't. We just didn't do it. Honestly, we were just dumb and didn't do it. But let's go ahead and put that up now. And just like that, guys, the car is fully assembled. I know Jonathan hates me. I know Sear hates me. <laughs> it's, it's like 12 o'clock at night. So we're gonna... It's one? You're lying. 150. Oh my God. Anywho, guys, that's pretty much it. Um, I owe these guys big time. Uh, so as for now, I just wanna put it out there. This is from Burger Tuning, and this is from Keys Motorsports. A shout out to them. I, didn't, I don't think I thanked them enough for those two pieces. And then obviously the blow up is from Keys Motorsports as well. So I just wanted to give a huge shout out to them, and link's gonna be down below. So the sound of this, you guys are gonna be hearing it in tomorrow in the morning. Uh, it'll be in the same video, don't worry. Uh, I'm gonna give them a sneak peek because they've been here all night, but it, it's, kinda, it's kinda dark. We're gonna head out and uh, I'll give you guys a sneak peek tomorrow morning. So it'll be like four seconds. Good morning guys, this is the next day. Here with the 435, here with the 650i. They're actually both at my house. Um, shout out to Sear and Jonathan again for getting this car, like helping me get this car started and back over here. That mod was actually a very difficult mod, but after hearing it last night, it's absolutely insane. I think it's the best sounding blow up I've ever heard in my entire life through videos. And I don't think this video will be able to justify it, but let's go ahead and show you guys. But before we do that, we have the 650i here. I'm actually gonna be fixing one thing in the next video before we take it back to the shop to get it worked on. We have a lot of plans for this car. But the most recent event is my brother's car. So uh, I wanna show you guys a little something, something. My brother had to order two new windows because of what just happened in front of our house. It was sitting right here and uh, we woke up one morning and um, you guys are about to find out. This window, yeah, this window got bashed. So this window actually got bashed too, but it had tints. So it actually held all the glass exactly. and you removed it, it all, right? Like it's like a glue basically, yeah. but still that's not, it's not funny. <laughs> um, so yeah, that sucks. So you guys can see right here, 
window is completely destroyed and gone. We're gonna have to vacuum all this out. You probably have to take it down to this place first, get it all vacuumed out. So yes, uh, the is just gonna pretty much start working on this. He's gonna replace both windows. Hopefully it's an easy job. Uh, he's not replacing the window regulators, which I know are not as easy. Uh, I think the windows are pretty easy. So he's gonna go ahead and try to do those. Uh, I'm gonna try to see if I can help him out on that. But um, yeah, let's just take out the 435 for a spin and show you guys how it sounds. We're just gonna let it warm up real quick, but check those out, guys. Hopefully in the next video, we're gonna be adding the strut bar and we're also gonna be adding the catless downpipe. So this thing should be full bolt-on and ready to go stage two and maybe even stage three and also flash the transmission. So this thing should be literally insane. So, uh, dude, you guys haven't heard it. You heard it last night. How, yeah. how did it sound last night? Amazing. <laughs> it was insane. Let's go ahead and just hear it out. Let's just, I mean, I, here, guys, here. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It's loud, right? It's so loud. Like when I added the blow off valve, everything changed. The whole car changed. It's insane. So, give it a few seconds for the car to warm up a little bit more, and I'm going to go ahead and hear the exhaust as well. are insane. All right, ready? I'm ready. Let's close the garage. All right, let's get it. <laughs> it sounds super crazy. It's like, it's like a, like a pigeon gurgling or something. <laughs> it is like a pigeon, honestly. And then, it, do you hear like the release of air? Yeah. It's, it's so much. It's like, so intense. Yeah, oh my gosh. And the burbles are so loud. I would kill for this exhaust. Oh my gosh. You can't, this video is not justifying how insane it is. It's probably not going to capture like the, the, the exhaust is so much louder, you can actually hear it. Yeah, now. you can hear the pops, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it sounds insane. Now I know there's a cop on this block, so we're not going to be doing anything crazy right here. Smash that like button if you guys are excited to see the Cadet Town Pipes in the next video, and maybe even the Stage 2 too in the same video. We'll have to see how that's all going to go about. Smash that like button if you guys want to see that. And without further ado, guys, I love you all so much. Remember to stay humble. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.